Stefan Muller, great to have you with us. Thank you. Um, now, you, Stefan, you're with the Behavioral Marketing Department at the Zurich University of Applied Sciences, and you were talking today at the Swiss Innovation Day all about the psychological I aspects of pricing. Mm -hmm. Could you perhaps just talk briefly about the psychological aspects of pricing and what steps that hoteliers should perhaps uh, take that they, they could really benefit from applying that. Mm -hmm. um, the OTAs okay. do a great job around that, mm -hmm. but from a hotelier's perspective with their mm -hmm. own booking engine, their own website, mm -hmm. what would be some things that they could okay. do? So in general, I think there are three perspectives on pricing. We see many companies uh, that uh, price based on costs or based on competition. And I think also a lot of hotels, they are just a bit captured within all the technical capabilities of pricing and all the booking systems, but they do not really look at the customer perspective. And this would really be value-based pricing, You're looking at what customers value and also how they react on prices. So I would really recommend hotels uh, to better understand their customers, maybe by doing some market research, by doing some experiments, um, giving them some options and looking how they would behave on that options. Uh, that would really help them to better understand understand the customer perspective and also to differentiate from competition to avoid uh, just a price war with other hotels. Okay, great. Um, and then a the second question would be, what would be three key tips that you could give a hotelier when it comes to mm -hmm. them wanting to segment their CRM guest data? So, I mean, first of all, you need to get good data, I think. Yeah. Uh, many hotels, they just do not have complete guest data, maybe just uh, socio-demographic data. And I would really recommend uh, to also get uh, attitudes of customers, preferences, uh, which is not that easy to get. Uh, maybe something where you need to involve employees uh, that uh, talk to guests, and mm -hmm. after that they need to enter that data into the CRM system. And then I would really recommend to rather segment based on those preferences and needs. Many companies and hotels, they still segment based on obvious data like age and gender and nationalities. But uh, customers, they really behave differently based on their attitudes and, and needs. I think this would be one, one key takeaway. And then uh, also to decide uh, that you want to focus on some segments and maybe not on others. Mm -hmm. So also be selective and uh, precisely define your, your target group. Who do you want to okay. address? Yeah. I think that's another important issue when talking about customer segmentation. And then finally, maybe the third tip, also educate your staff, your employees about the segmentation and uh, what those needs are and personas, for example, can be helpful too in that respect. Great, great. And finally, uh, what if, I, if I'm a hotelier, an independent hotelier, what would be, um, and I would like to do some market research, where should I begin and what it, what is it that I should expect to get out of that market research? Mm -hmm. what, what should I set myself in terms of expectations? Okay. So I think a lot of hotels and companies in general, they just start doing some market research without really defining what kind of marketing decision do they want to support based on the insights. So I think this is really important to define uh, what kind of problem or question do I want to solve based on customer insights, for example. And a good starting point uh, to generate insights is typically uh, getting uh, reviews from guests after their experience at your hotel. So you can do that based on platforms like TripAdvisor, really take a deep dive into these answers and try to identify what are delight factors or slide factors but then you can also start uh, doing your own research on specific questions like pricing for example doing experiments uh, how do customers react to different prices I think that would be another good starting point point. and again uh, get your employees involved uh, tell them what you learned from the insights especially from from guest feedback excellent Stephen Willen thanks so much for joining us thank, thank you, you.